sex chromosomes and sex determination sex of the animals is determined by the genes which are present on the chromosomes the genes which are related to the sex determination they are present on the chromosomes those chromosomes are called as sex chromosomes sex can be homogametic sex can be heterogametic in case of homogametic that sex produces only one type of the gametes while if the sex is heterogametic then there are two types of the gametes sex determination systems there are three most common sex determination systems one is the example of the humans in case of humans female is xx while in case of humans male is xy the second uh, sex determination system is that is found in birds amphibians and reptiles that system in that system male is homogametic produces z and z chromosome while in case of females it has a z and w chromosome the third sex determination system which is found in the grasshopper where female is homogametic and it is xx while male is x not mean there is only one x chromosome if there is only one x chromosome grasshopper will be male while if there are two x chromosome the grasshopper will be female inheritance of gender in case of humans in case of humans a mother she has two x chromosomes while in case of the father he has one x chromosome and one y chromosome during the process of meiosis they separate into the gametes which are called as sex cells in case of female the sex cells are produced as x and x while in case of males sex cells are produced as x and y so x and y in case of the father they will be converted into the sperms they ultimately form sperms while in case of female or the mother they are converted into the eggs so as a combination of the eggs and sperms the possibility of each children would be 50% there would be 50% chance for the birth of a girl and there will be 50% chance for the birth of the boy we can understand by this pictorial view of the diagram that human sex determination how human sex is determined like here the example that here are the sperms which are present with the male and x are present with the female when x sperm fertilizes to the egg then there will be two x and girl will be produced while in case if the y sperm will fertilize to the egg then a boy will be produced boy will have x chromosome and y chromosome so sex determination in case of humans is due to the sperms which are present in the male sex determination in the birds here is the example of a bird where the male has two z chromosome z and z the male is homogametic it produces sperms of z type while in case of female she is heterogametic she has two type of gametes she can produce the x containing the z chromosome she can produce the x containing the w chromosome so as a cross between the male and the female if there is a cross between sperm and 
the egg that contains z there will be z and z so a male bird will be produced while in the case if sperm will combine with the egg that is w that has w chromosome so a female female bird will be produced so in case of sex determination in the birds female is responsible whether a male bird will be produced or a female bird will be produced the sex determination system in grasshopper in case of grasshopper if there are two x chromosomes then it will be a female and if there is single x chromosome in addition to 22 autosomes then a male will be produced so if there are two x chromosomes then the grasshopper will be female and if there is only one x chromosome the grasshopper will be the male so we can conclude that sex chromosomes has the genes which are responsible for the determination of the sex in the animals there are autosomes as well as sex chromosomes